Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about 20 things that you will not see in the US that would be way more popular in New Zealand. That's not to say that you won't see it a little bit in the US because essentially you can get everything in the US, but the vast majority, you will, you will not see this in the US. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. 20 things, stay tuned, here we go. If you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. We are a family of six that have moved to New Zealand from the US and kind of share the journey with you and talk about the differences. If you are coming, visiting, moving, anything to do with New Zealand, reach out to me on my website, kiwiamericans.com. I have a training hub coming up. And if you just wanna talk with me on the phone, you can book an appointment with me um, or just shoot me an email. I'm here to help. So let's get into the video this week. Number one. The first thing that you are not going to see in the US are people using the word math with an S. So in New Zealand, when you say, when you're referring to math, they put an S at the end. Maths. The subject is maths, not math. Won't see that in the US. Number two, you will not see people walking around barefoot. Obviously, that's one of the benefits of living in New Zealand and not having tons of dangerous animals anywhere or insects where you can, or freezing cold, right? People can walk around barefoot and they do. And they do everywhere, like to work, to shops, to church. You will see people barefoot. This is not something that you will see in the US. Number three, you will not see morning tea, afternoon tea, discussed, talked about, those words ever used, or tea referring to dinner time. You will not see that in the US. <laughs> they don't use those words at all. It would be a break and, you know, you don't necessarily get it. <laughs> in the school, kids will recess um, is kind of what's used, but this morning, afternoon tea, that's not gonna be used in the US. Number four, you will not see the indigenous culture um, being taught in the education system. And so, I mean, the history of it will certainly be there, but in New Zealand, the Maori culture is actually part of the curriculum in terms of like teaching them um, the dances, the, the language, all the kids, you know, at primary level will learn part of the language and it's just it's just kind of integrated into education and into the arts program. You will not see that in the US. And number five, you will not see flightless birds. So if you're not familiar, New Zealand's bird is the kiwi bird and it is a flightless bird. And that's just, it's just very interesting that they have flightless birds here in New Zealand. You will not see that in the US. Number six, you will not see barbecue sauce on pizza. I think that there's probably like ones that you can order, but this is so not common at all. And also like this mayonnaise drizzle on everything, or the fact that you get like aioli served with your chips or fries um, and not ketchup. It's not a given that you're getting ketchup or tomato sauce if you're in New Zealand. So this is always interesting. Barbecue sauce and everything, hard to get used to. Number seven, bank transfer. No bank transfer in the US. Like they have different programs that you can use, but it's not as simple as it is in New Zealand where you can just share an account number and pay directly into people's accounts. It always goes through a third party system. And number eight, milkshakes milkshakes without ice cream so literally it's milk with like a flavored syrup chocolate strawberry i don't know they have all kind of flavors like lemon watermelon you know whatever it's just milk with a flavoring unless you get a thick shake here in new zealand it doesn't have ice cream and to just confuse you even more sometimes when you order a milkshake it does come with ice cream I don't know, I can't figure it out. Just know that in the US, if you ever, ever order a milkshake anywhere, it will always include ice cream. In the US, you will not see everybody wearing sun hats. Now, the sun is much more dangerous here in New Zealand. It's a good idea, It's I am not discouraging it, but I'm just letting you know 
that you walking around with your flappy little sun hat, you're probably gonna be the only one. There are people obviously that wear hats, bigger hats, more stylish hats, but people in New Zealand, they don't care. They're just wearing the hat. They're doing all the protecting and that's good. In fact, the kids here cannot even go onto the playground without a hat on. Um, and so my kids always have that little panic if they forget their hat and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to go out on the playground today. So it's a good rule of thumb for sure. I'm not criticizing that. I'm just saying that you're not going to see everybody wearing the sun hats here in New Zealand. Um, also, in New Zealand, okay, number 10, police don't carry guns, like on them. Like they have it like locked in their glove compartment sometimes. In the US, I don't, maybe comment below. I don't think that there's police officers walking around without guns. I don't think so, but you know, I don't know. I am not a trained police officer and know all of that sort of thing, but yeah. There's no guns carried around in New Zealand. And if you want to see a show, it's actually a very popular download in the U.S. Do Wellington Paranormal and make you get an idea of the Kiwi humor and policing in New Zealand. <laughs> uh, number 11. In the U.S., you are not going to see political parties compromising. Let's just call it like it is. There is very little compromising happening. But when in other parts of the world, there are political parties that are compromising. <laughs> regularly and that's normal but in the u.s it's becoming very rare few and far between at this point point. and number 12 unlimited internet now new zealand now has unlimited internet it's not everywhere it's not every plan but you have to understand like when i came here in 2013 unlimited internet was normal in the u.s so this is like how different like so what i'm saying is like you will always have unlimited internet in the US, but not necessarily in New Zealand. In fact, when my parents came over here, I was saying we had very limited data and my dad was always, you know, reading the news or catching up on sports. I'm like, hello, like we don't have unlimited internet. It's an adjustment when you're so used to it. So, I mean, that's quite a few years ago and the US was already way ahead of the game in the internet world. The US, as far as I know, do not have Fijoas. Fijoas, if you've never had it, the most amazing sweet sour fruit in season right now. I eat them constantly. Um, so good. So good. You will not see these in the US. I think that there's in certain parts of South America, but I'm not sure. If we do have them, they do grow in the US. Let me know. Comment below. Also, like chippy sandwiches with Marmite. Okay, we don't, Americans do not eat Marmite. Vegemite, Marmite, never had it. Weird don't like it um try i've tried to like it but they put that on bread with like chips like potato chips you don't see that in the u.s as far as i know number 14 i don't think that the u.s is zero plastic bags at the grocery store quite yet they are not as advanced as new zealand in terms of um you know organizing the no plastic, but I could be wrong. I haven't been there in a long time. I'm going in June, so I'll let you know if that's different, but I'm pretty sure they still have plastic bags in the stores in the US. Number 15, there's no freedom camping. You can camp for free at a Walmart in the US. <laughs> in New Zealand, there's places all over the country that you can freedom camp. Of course, it's getting more strict and more rules, and there are rules at Walmart, but it is free. And so that's what you see in like TV shows and movies that people are camping out at Walmart because that is the place for freedom camping at Walmart. And you can go and get a late night snack only in America. Number 16, hanging clothes on a washing line. You'll see this in very few houses in the US, very few. You won't see it very often. In New Zealand, it's every house. Like dryers are not used. I have a dryer, I'm American. It's just one of those things. But in the U.S., everybody uses a dryer. Number 17, outlets with buttons on them. Now, I've heard from some people on the West Coast of the U.S. that there are some outlet switches that have buttons on them. But in general, when you go to the U.S., you're not going to see outlets, like outlets with buttons on them to turn it on and off. And number 18, in the U.S., peanut butter has sugar in it 
Whereas in New Zealand, the way major, like 99% of the peanut butter, they have a lot more these days, by the way, does not have sugar in it. So you have to get like the peanut butter, American style peanut butter in order to get peanut butter with sugar in it. Um, I personally am okay without the sugar. My kids struggle a bit, but yeah, in the US, most of the peanut, you can get obviously healthy and all natural peanut butter, but the majority of the peanut butter will have sugar in it. Number 19. When you go backpacking, camping, there, it's very common in New Zealand to like backpack, I'm sorry, tramping, they call it, backpacking or tramping, to huts. And that, and the hut is like, you know, shared kitchen and then like just tons of beds everybody sleeps in and that's shared. They have some of those in the US, but it's not common like it is here. Like it's very common to go to a hut very normal. It's it's probably more abnormal to just pitch your tent as opposed to using the hut, which, you know, we prefer. I don't know. It's I think it's just an individualistic thing. Also, when you're camping, the shared kitchens that are in all the camp places here in New Zealand, not common in the U.S. Most of them won't have that. There are exceptions, but yeah, so that's a, just a very different thing. And number 20, last but not least, there isn't nationalized things in the U.S. So the U.S. is governed nationally, but also by state. And so it's hard to say one rule applies across the board or one way of doing things applies. There are things that are nationalized, but not many, like it always varies by state. And so that's very different than in New Zealand where so many things are nationalized. You have nationalized healthcare, you have nationalized like education curriculum, like the curriculum is the same, across the country, not the same in the US. It's just a lot of nationalized things and that's just very different things that you just won't see in the US. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Please comment below. Let me know some of the things I might've forgotten about the differences between the US and New Zealand and things you just don't see in the US. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week.